open-handed playing. I uh, started to play right-handed. Actually, I started to play uh, traditional grip too. Um, and then one day, I was uh, the, the, the drum kit was growing. It grew another bass drum. It grew a few more tom-toms. Um, and everything was fine playing right-handed until I added this, this last tom-tom, tom-tom number one here. And that was a problem because in order to play right-handed, the hi-hat has to be higher than, you know, than it is now, um, which means this tom has to be high. And you know what? I just, uh, I was a very impressionable 17-year-old um, and looks were very important to me. So I thought to myself, what if I lower the hi-hat and lower the tom so it looks cool and then learn to play left-handed? <laughs> it's kind of a little backwards way of uh, backward engineering there. Um, and I thought to myself, is this really possible? Um, well, I guess it's now uh, how many years, 40 years later or something. Uh, it is possible. Uh, I think if you're young enough, you can do, you can change anything. Uh, a little bit tougher when you get a bit older. Um, it's hard to learn new tricks, as it were. But the, the concept of uh, open-handed playing, to me then, was uh, part of a balance thing. I really love the fact that I could be doing something with this hand, like this. Leaving this hand free to do pretty much anything you could imagine. Um, it was a very kind of a different way of playing, but a, an elegant way of playing. Um, and now to me, it's, it's second nature. So uh, was it the right move? Well, I'll never know. I could have just continued playing right-handed and maybe I'd be a better drummer. I don't know. But <laughs> In the big picture, it's whatever works for you. Uh, but I just really enjoy being able to play, actually now, being able to play left-handed and right-handed, which is kind of cool, especially when I have this drum set up here. So for example, like this. Um, the other really cool thing about uh, the left-handed approach, especially with a right-handed drum kit, is you tend to have lots of big tom-toms around this area. It's really nice to be able to do a little accent or a little fill without breaking the groove. Um, uh, for example, on the, on the cymbal. So that's uh, another little thing you can do. Um, I'm sure uh, you could do it just as well right-handed as well, but I've been doing it for so long this way, I, d I just don't know any other way to do it now. Um, but there you go, that's a little uh, concept about the uh, open-handed playing. <laughs>